Hi there, welcome to Roll. Tristan's my name. And today what I want to do is take you through project statuses in Roll. Now, project statuses uh, or is a uh, really powerful and super flexible piece of functionality that helps you tailor Roll to the workflow um, uh, that your business has and the, the natural process or the natural flow of work through your business. Um, probably the best way to, to show you is just to jump straight into an example here, but what you're looking at is a demo that's been set up for um, a business that's a creative or a digital agency. Now, I'm in the projects area and at the moment I'm seeing a full list of all of the work that I've got in pipeline and or these are all the leads and opportunities that I've got around the business and if I go to my work in progress, these are all the leads, oh, sorry, all the work that I've actually got on the go right now. Now, if you have a look closely, you can see um, under pipeline and under the in progress stages, we've actually got it broken down even further. So in pipeline, for example, I've got new leads, two quotes, waiting decision on hold, lost op leads and opportunities, and in progress design, production, QA, retainers, waiting on clients. Now, these are statuses that I have set up in role to cater for the workflow in my business. Now, if, what I, um, if we go back up to pipeline, for example, here I'm looking at all of the work, all of the leads and opportunities in Pipeline. If I just want to have a look at uh, the work that's awaiting a decision or the opportunities that are awaiting a decision, here they go. So these might need following up. If I want to have a look at the, the new leads that have come in that I need to start the sales process with, um, I can see those leads and I can start that process. Um, the same with in progress or the work that we've got on the go right now. Instead of seeing one big full list of all the work on the go, I can drill down and, so, and, and say, well, okay, just show me the stuff that's in design right now. Um, and there it is. Um, additionally, you can, um, and this is how you can tailor it, but in this example, I've set up another status for uh, just retainer projects. So these are projects that are, that are where this business is on a retainer with the client. Um, if I want to have a look at uh, work that's waiting on the client to provide feedback or to um, action something before it can move on, here they go. And these are ones that I might need to follow up. So um, as you can see, just a really nice way to actually break down the work even further to, to, to be in sync with the workflow through your business which is really cool. Um, in terms of how you use it, uh, once you've set up and set it up in the back end, actually, if I go to the back end, I'll show you how we do that first. But all you need to do is just go to the settings area of role, uh, the main settings page, and at the bottom here, we've got project statuses. And these are the, um, the, the hard-coded ones that come naturally with role, and then underneath that, um, I've got uh, all of the custom ones that I've set up based on the workflow in this business, design, production, etc. If I want to add another one in here, just come down here and I can go SEO. If I just wanted a, a status just to show the SEO projects, for example, if I want to reorder it, can do that also. Um, and so you can swap and change and, and really tailor it for your business, which is really neat. Um, once you've got your project statuses set up, uh, here you can see that, that new one that we've set up there. Um, if you go into a project, say for design for example, and you want to shift this along, it's come out of design. Um, we've got the area here, project statuses or status, we can say this is now in production and uh, we'll save and close that and it comes out and it goes into production. So that's effectively how you set it up and, and work with it. Now what I want to do is just show you a couple of other permutations of the functionality. So I've got an, another couple of examples set up here. Um, this one uh, I set up earlier is for architects. Now architects have quite a different workflow to a, a digital agency or creative agency. Now their workflow for leads and opportunities might be exactly the same. But once it actually becomes a project that you're working on, you've won the job, um, that's where we've custom, uh, customized role to work with the stages uh, in their workflow. So here we can see we've got pre-design, concept design. I'm current, currently showing all the projects that are in develop design stage. Um, so again, just really customizable and, and really flexible to, to tailor the tailor role to your workflow. Um, another way you could use it is if I go to this other example up here, um, I've set up statuses by staff member. Um, and if I just want to see what each person's working on, um, the projects that they've got, that, that I've got going on, um, I can just quickly click on James, for example, and it would show me all of uh, the work that James is working on um, right now. 
Um, so an, it's effectively another way of, of working with project statuses. So as you can see, um, it's a pretty cool piece of functionality and if you use it really well, you can really help tailor role to work really nicely with the workflow in your business and it's super flexible and uh, super powerful. So that's it for project statuses. Hope that's been beneficial for you. Hope it's been useful. Um, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to go onto YouTube and check out our other uh, YouTube videos around functionality and role. And um, also, uh, don't forget if you have any questions and you need some support whilst you're using the product, you've got the talk to role button here where you can start talking to us um, in the app, which is really neat. So thanks, thanks for watching. Hope it's been useful and um, I'll talk to you again soon.